Okay, let's recap on those first half goals. It all started pretty well uh, with Aguero putting Argentina in front, Keith. Yeah, he was relatively quiet throughout the game, Sergio Aguero, but this is what he can do. The, the way he's able to manoeuvre this ball away from goal onto not his favoured left foot, orchestrate that type of effort right into the net past Hal Dorsen was a superb finish. Iceland replied very, very well. Magnussen backing up from left back then. He mentioned at halftime, they do this really well. Keep attacks alive after alive. Then Bogerson backs up play. He actually pulls into an area trying to create a bit of space. Not content with that. Backs up well, first to react. And it's a really composed finish to get them back on equal, even terms. And they deserve it. Yeah, and they showed many times during the first half uh, that they were a threat going forward, Shay, when they did have possession on those rare occasions. But also you've pulled out a few examples of their shape and how that helped them defensively. Well, defensively, I think as the manager got to take the great credit because they, they would have known today they Argentina with a lot of possession, a lot of you know ball retention, and how are they going to stop the likes of Messi and Aguero and, and, and Di Maria and, and the shape they put in. You can see you know, the 10 players behind the ball, so clearly four or five, one formation they have, and, and at times even... <laughs> Finn Bogson, the centre forward, was coming back into the space himself and, and it's very difficult to break down. We said even off air, Peter, was they need to try and get it wide, they need to try and spread them more. And they're, they're trying to, as they say, intricate passes where yeah. there was no space there. I mean, when Messi gets the ball, there's two and three players around him and you can see here that they're, they're well set up. As I say, they're in good shape, they're, they're no panic. You can see clearly they, they work on the training ground doing this on a daily basis. And, and even here, look, Finn Bogdanson, he's coming back into a defensive shape as well. That's your centre forward getting back in there and, and now look at the numbers behind the ball, it's very, very difficult to break down. And they're sort of on the edge of the box as well. There's no real space between the you know the back four and the goalkeeper. You can't play balls over the top. You know, as I say, we see the shape again. But as I say, they would have worked clearly on this. The first game in the World Cup finals against Argentina and Messi and Co. And, and you know, they've, they've gone for a long range shot. And I just feel that they look comfortable, yes, you know, Messi should have scored from the penalty and what have you, but at the same time, they never seem to panic. They never seem to be. This doesn't lose. happen by never okay to lose the does shape. It? it takes the players buying into it, but ultimately the manager setting up in that type of fashion. They are so difficult to play against. Isn't that the key for an international manager who doesn't have an awful lot of time to spend with his squad, unlike a club manager, for instance, to get his players, get them organised, get everybody singing off the same hymn sheet, everybody knowing what to do, and despite having no possession, as Iceland didn't, not no possession, but very little possession, mm -hmm. Iceland showed you can get very good results. You have to identify what you've got in your armoury, and they don't have outstandingly talented players. Sigurdsson mm. is the one, but Sigurdsson has to get the ball in the final tour. How often do they get there? Yeah. Not very often against good opposition, yeah. but he identifies a defensive structure to be able to get them results they build in conference from that. And against weaker opposition, you'll see them playing more, but against big teams, they have a habit of doing this. And, and what's majorly important for them is, is the mindset and the attitude because we saw one incident there where Messi got away and there was actually a 3v2 or 3v3 mm -hmm. situation. And what they did do really well to, today is to delay because all you have to do is delay and within two seconds they had six, seven, eight people behind the ball again and it was very hard for, for Argentina to break him down. So they showed tactical nous and cleverness mm -hmm. as well uh, when they when it came to delaying the game to, to get uh, bodies uh, back behind the ball. So it was just an all-round defensively superb performance. Yeah, great performance and a great result for Iceland, it has to be said, and possibly unexpected in many quarters.